Hi, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. Today we're going to work with my P38 Ranger fuse box assembly. This is an expensive component to replace, and I'm going to try my hand at repairing it. I know that I have some heat damage from relay, relay number 7 uh, and the other relay responsible for the blower motors. I have intermittent blower motor operation, so we're going to remove the fuse box from the vehicle, take out all the relays and fuses, and the multi-plugs. You can immediately see that we have some very serious heat damage on this plastic. Then when we remove the plastic cover, you can also see underneath it's got some very serious heat damage on the high current circuit traces. And you can actually see the, the current the, the circuit trace through through the board where it's scorched. And there's also some damage to not just the surface of the board, but because of all the heat cycling that this uh, high current area is uh, responsible for, there's a lot of wiggling in the pins here. There's uh, some solder joints have cracked due to all the heat the, the heat cycle. Uh, expansion contraction on the solder joints. So we're going to need to open this up and take a closer look, see if we can repair it. To open it up, we're going to need to uh, start clipping, you'll notice these pins on the outside of the board that uh, connect the two boards. We're going to clip all these pins and the board will hinge open very, very carefully. This will expose all the solder joints and you can see what's going on and visually inspect them. And I've got about six or seven solder pads that are physically damaged. He's going to take your soldering iron, some flux and some good solder, clean everything up, reflow each of these cracked solder joints and uh, you know and I also uh, reinforced some lifted traces that were loose uh, with some epoxy and fiberglass so putting it back together is a little bit tricky but it can be done you're gonna slow you know very carefully hinge the board back together then you're gonna start to reconnect each one of the pins that uh, the pin interconnects between the two boards I start by just connecting the pins back together then I go back a second pass and really really flow solder into each of the pins to make sure it's a real solid solid connection I can withstand all the, the, the heat checking and the, the vibration so put it all back in the car, put all the fuses back in the exact same place, put the multi-plugs back in the same same place, connect the battery up, and you should be good to go. And in this case, I actually restored proper blow motor operation on my vehicle just by repairing the fuse box. Thanks for watching.